we've set it up to just do a single load and two loads um, of the same total quantity of material. So that's what I'm going to read in now into the simulator window. So back into where we took a quick look at how the filtration model looks in simulator. So I'm just going to open and run both of the scenarios. And then I'm going to use the tab controls to go back and look first at the first scenario and then come back and look at the second scenario. Um, so here as we, um, as we feed the material into the centrifuge, if I click on feed solid product, that's the amount of material that we're looking to feed. And in this case, it's over 90 minutes. We can see that that drops, in this case, linearly because we're feeding at a constant rate. So over the 90 minutes, we're charging all of the material to the centrifuge. Um, there's a variable here called completion, which really looks at the proportion of the material, the total amount of material that we want to filter that has already ended up in the cake. And you can think about that a little bit like a conversion type calculation for a reaction. You know, if we've managed to feed all the material and it's ended up in the cake, then we'll have a high score for completion. And in the centrifuge, what would stop you from feeding all the material is, for example, if you were feeding too quickly and you fill the basket, and the model will actually stop if the basket gets filled. So whenever you use this template and you see that completion is up in the high 90s, that means that you have pretty much charged all the material that you want to centrifuge and it's, it's all happened without filling the basket. Just to get a flavor for um, how that's calculated, we um, use really mass balance equations to simulate as a function of time how the cake builds up. So the cake radius indicates the thickening of the cake. So this is really the outer radius of the basket. This is the radius um, within the outer radius, which contains solid material or really cake. And then the gray curve is the material outside of that or further into the centrifuge, which contains liquid. So the liquid is always above the cake. And then as the resistance in the cake builds up, um, it takes more liquid on top of the cake to push the liquid through the cake. So the liquid is continually building up on top of the cake. But in this case, um, we can see that there's no problem in charging the entire quantity of material in 90 minutes, and we don't fill the basket. And then once the addition stops, you'll see here that the liquid radius drops right back to the radius of the cake. So again, like in the filtration model, there's still some liquid in the cake. It's uh, whatever it would take to fill the voids, but there's no liquid above the cake. That's how that's set up to work. So that's the single load, 90-minute feed. Um, we also have here the half, half batch size, which would be two loads. And this can actually be fed a lot more quickly because the total batch size occupies a lot less volume inside the centrifuge. Um, so in this case, I think the feed time, if I just look in set parameters, feed time is just 10 minutes as opposed to 90 minutes for the full load. And uh, again, here, if we just look at the same kinds of variables, feed solid product, we can see that we pink curve, we charge all of the material in the 10 minutes. If we look at completion, we can see that all that material essentially has become part of the cake. And if we look at um, liquid radius, we'll see here that we do build up uh, a certain radius of liquid. We're feeding much faster, but um, we don't come anywhere near filling the basket, even with a feed time of 10 minutes. Um, 